Oh, hello, hello. It's been a while. Nice to see you guys again and um, talk to you about today's topic. Today's topic is about correctly creating manifestation in your life. That's correctly creating manifestation in your life. I don't know how short or how long this video is going to be. You know, I usually go by the spirit. And so today, I got my notes. <laughs> today, I'm going to first speak on confessing with your mouth. First thing you have to do is confess. And that is to say what it is that you want to happen for you in your life. If you want to get married, if you want to have a new home, if you want to have a new car, whatever it is, first of all, you have to speak it. Speak those things that be not as though they were. So let's speak some things. Let's speak about our homes. Let's speak about our family. Let's speak about our husbands to come or husbands that we have. Let's speak about our children. Let's speak about a new business. Let's speak about our parents. Let's speak about anything that you desire. If you believe it and you confess it, God says so, it's going to work. But that's not the only thing you have to do. Let's continue on. You also have to believe in your heart in your heart and when you believe it's in your heart that means after you say it and say it and say it in your mind and in your heart and in your mouth continuously say it after a while you're going to get excited about it because you know God answers prayer so you're going to get excited when you get excited that's when you're letting your emotions get involved. So first, we've let our mouth speak. Now we're letting our heart get involved by feeling that we have it. Feel that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that you're going to have that thing. Because God is not a man that he should lie. He's God. And if he's God and he's not going to lie, why would he say... Yes, my son. Yes, my daughter. You can have that. You can have whatever you want, my daughter, my son. If God says yes, nobody can say no. I, I give that to the girls, Michelle Williams. Shout out to Michelle Williams. That's a great song. Now, the next one is to see it in your mind. See it in your mind. You know what that is? Meditating. That's right. So first you have to relax yourself. Get yourself in a good space, either laying down or sitting up. And what you'll do is close your eyes and see in your mind what you're asking for, what you're believing for. What you have faith for. What you're receiving in your heart for. See it in your mind's eye like dream. Like a, a, a dream. You see this car. You see it. You see it. You know you see it. And you're saying it's mine. Come out. You're like ever excited. I can feel myself sitting in those nice leather seats. Heart. So that's mine. Confessing with the mouth, feeling in the heart, mind, mouth, heart. Those are the keys to manifesting. When you continually do this, and you do it effortlessly, and you start doing that, your meditation, I'm going to tell you about your meditation. If you meditate, Day and night, like the Bible says, you know what will start happening? First of all, 
the angels will start letting you know that they, they're on your side. They're behind you. They're rooting for you. Yeah, we're gonna, we are gonna want you to have it. We're going to help you have it. And how they let you know that? You'll see 1111. You'll see 333. You'll see 222. You'll see 1222. Any double number, triple number, that is an angel trying to tell you a message from God. Take that number, go into Google, and look it up. And when you see what that number says, you put the number, angel numbers behind it, those words, and hit send and look it up. And it'll tell you exactly what the message is behind that number. And also, I want you guys to know that don't give feed your Don't feed your good news or whatever you're hoping for to people who think ill of you, who put doubt in your mind, who say no. They have no reason to say no. Because we've already said God says yes. So if God says yes, it doesn't matter what Joe Blow says. Don't feed your pearls to swine. That's what I was trying to remember to say. Don't feed your pearls <laughs> to sweat. Don't give away your blessings. You know, so many times that we think people have our best interests at heart. They do not. Matter of fact, they don't want you to win because they're jealous and they want you to be on top. They don't want you to be more successful. Oh, they don't mind telling you what they've got. Who they marry, how many children they have, an old their big fine house, but they don't want to hear your good news. They don't want to hear about what you've got. They don't want to see your husband looks better than their husband, got a better job than their husband. They don't want to know all of that. The only thing they want to know is that you're failing, and the devil is alive. And all his imps are as well. You will be happy. You will manifest. You will be a creator as your father in heaven is a creator. We were born creators. We were born to create. That's why we have a mind. If we weren't born to create, we would not have a mind. You get a thought in your mind. Something to do. Do it. You get an idea of something to do, to create a new business, a new hobby, new job, if you're into jobs, <laughs> a new way to walk home. You never know. You might look down and find anything valuable. You never know. Somebody might bless you. You never know. You might run into somebody who's on their way somewhere and they ask you, they're a friend of yours, you know them. So don't get in the car with strangers. You know them and they say, hey, so-and-so, you want to take you on a ride? I'm going so-and-so. You go, yeah, sure, I'll go. And you go and they bless you with a meal or they bless you with going shopping and say, hey, girl, don't worry about it. I pay you, I don't pay I just a blessing you. I just want to bless you. You never know. Listen to the spirit as it gives utterance to you. Shut down. Get into your quiet spot. Meditate. Just close your eyes and just listen to the soft music. Calm down. Let your mind calm down. Let your heart calm down. Don't say anything. Just be in peace. Be in love. Be in joy. Be in happiness. Be 
be in love, be in joy, be in peace, be in happiness. And before you know it, you'll be in a position of meditation. Before you know it, you'll hear God's voice. You'll hear His voice. And he'll tell you things that can help you in your life. That can help you on your journey. So believe with all your heart that you can. I know you can do it. I believe it. I believe in you. I believe in you. I don't know who may be watching this video. But I want you to know that I love you. And that you're in my heart. And that I think of my audience all the time and say, God bless my audience. Whoever it may be that's listening. You know, it don't it doesn't take a whole lot. To say I love you to somebody who needs it. People are hurting these days. People don't know which way to turn. They don't know what to do. But I tell you who does. I know somebody who knows what to do. And his name is God. His name is Yahweh. He, his name is I am. I am what? I am. Anything you put behind my name, I am that. I am that I am. And he can do anything but fail. So put your trust in the one who holds your life in the palms of his hands and won't let you go. So, recap. We're going to confess with our mouths. We're going to speak to those things that be not as though they were. We're going to believe in our heart. Feel it in our heart. We're going to say it until we get excited about the day. Whatever it is that we're confessing God for, we're asking him to do. We're going to say it and 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 say it, and say it until we create the feeling of it. You create it. You create it. So as you continue to create it, then you're going to see it in your mind by meditating. Do those three things continuously. And before you know it, you have your desire. I love you. I love you with everything that's in me. I love you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. So I want you all to just look at the videos, like the videos, subscribe to the videos to my channel, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell them that Evangelist Paula, better known as Light Over Darkness 33, is on YouTube and she's trying to help the nation because God brought me back for a reason and if I have nothing else I have my faith and my trust that God will and God can you have a good night nice evening I love you bye bye guys